Hello everyone, I'm Mohsina Mustafa Miti, currently working as a research intern at Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Security Studies, VIPS. Today I'm going to talk about the ongoing crisis in Myanmar, focusing on particularly the security condition of Chin and Rakhine State. In a recent statement, the Brotherhood Alliance comprising the Arakan Army and two other ethnic armies has warned of an imminent intensification of fighting in Rakhine and Chin State, Myanmar, noting that most of the 400 troops that had fled to India after clashes in Chin State have been redeployed to Rakhai State. Ongoing intense fighting has been reported in six townships of northern Rakhai State Kyakto, Inbia, Mraoku, Pokto, Ramli, and Rathedam. In December 2023, Myanmar's military attacked Ramli Island, causing harm to people and survey establishments after clashing with the Arakan Aru. Also in December 2023, the Arakan army took control of a police station in Mraoku, Rakhine State. In response, the military targeted civilian areas in histri and historical sites. In early January 2024, the Arakan army successfully captured a military base in Palatwa Township, Chin State. After a fight with the Arakan army, the military in Myanmar killed at least six civilians in Mraoku and Kyakto Townships in early January. On January 15, the Myanmar military's actions led to the death of at least six civilians in Rakhine and Chin State, according to the Arakan Army. By January 24, the Arakan Army had taken control of Pokto town in Rakhine State, facing resistance from the military. On January 28, the Arakan Army seized a military headquarters in Minbia Township, Rakhine State, despite airstrikes and naval bombardment from the military. Military airstrikes damaged churches in Chin State, Myanmar's Christian majority region, showing a disproportionate impact on civilians. On January 29, 2024, Myanmar's military bombed Payatwa Township in Chin State, killing seven civilians in the Arakan Army controlled home village. After shootings in Gumtun border area, on January 30, the situation in Narkontrol Upojela, Mandobon, Bangladesh, remained peaceful since the morning of January 31. But then from the beginning of February, violence again escalated in that region. So far, 130 Myanmar BGP members have taken shelter in Bangladesh, and two Bangladeshi people have been killed while several others being injured in the Gundum border area. For getting regular updates on these issues, Please visit our website, which is www.beats.org.pd, and our Facebook page, which is facebook.com/beats. That's all for today. Thank you.